Hello and welcome gorgeous Capricorn to your weekly reading. It's wonderful to read for you today. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you of course. You may see a sign or a symbol, a message perhaps that really resonates for you and your question if you have one or just some general guidance for an area of your life. You may also like to think of a question and by the end of the read there will be an answer revealed in the cards. So your first card is a peace offering. So I'm seeing that you may need to you may need to do this. You may need to put an offer on the table to someone and it's an offer of peace. It's to neutralize the energy, I feel. That's what I'm that's what I'm getting. It's to neutralize the energy that is around you that's being sent to you. But in some way there's going to be an opportunity this week for you to give this peace offering. Drink more water. So it might resonate on that physical level for you. Maybe drinking more water is going to be beneficial for you physically. There's also an energy of water or a water sign. So there may be important interactions with a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. Also being around a body of water. So that would be a river, a lake, the ocean. Uh, that might also be something that you're planning on doing or uh, in fact the energy is very supportive of being around water this week. There may be trust issues in a relationship. I can see that for someone. There might also be a need to trust yourself more, to trust your intuition more and this card might resonate on that level for you. You might have to trust someone's word this week, okay? Twin flame. So we have a soulmate connection here. So this is if you are in a relationship, you will know that this person is your soulmate twin flame energy, of course. If you are not, if you are looking for love, though, this is a wonderful time to actually start to connect with people because it looks like that twin flame, that soulmate connection is someone you can definitely trust and someone that uh, you will meet soon, someone you'll meet shortly. Guidance for Capricorn, please, Spirit. So we have the parrot energy. Listen intently to understand. So you're needing to you're needing to listen to what someone is saying, not just on a superficial level, but going a little bit deeper than that. So understanding the subliminal messages that someone's saying through their speech and um, this is about listening this is about consciously actively listening to understand uh, better the situation and it might even improve a relationship accept your magnificence this is a call to action this is a call to accept your own power or to bring Bring power that you have given away to someone else back to your back to you. OK, so, um, yeah, this is about claiming your power and having confidence this week, moving into the week with confidence. Open yourself to true abundance. Now, you might be feeling that you are doing this, that you are opening yourself to true abundance, but perhaps you're not 100 percent. And that's why spirit's bringing it up. So you need to be in alignment to your mental, your emotional, your physical, spiritually opening yourself up for the blessings that that you deserve. This is God's plan in your life to bring through life changing blessings. Uh, they are on the way. This is just a little bit of a help if you do this. Um, if you consciously open yourself up to know that you're going to receive these blessings that are perfect for you. Know that this true abundance can be yours. And so get ready to celebrate when this comes through or when this actually happens because you'll feel an energetic shift. Beautiful. 
Be strong and courageous. Stand up for what you believe in. Do not back down. You might need to put in some strong boundaries with someone. But um, yeah, there's a lot of strength and there's a lot of inner strength, actually, I'm seeing. A lot of inner strength you'll be drawing upon or that you have drawn upon recently in a situation. And being courageous, so moving forward, even though you know that there's fear involved here, you're courageously moving in the direction that is right for you and your heart and your life. Healing heart, you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. I'm seeing an amazing connection here. You have an amazing connection with someone. Might be to do with the twin flame energy, but it could not could be a family member or someone you're helping out or healing. You may realize that you are healing them in some way, emotionally maybe, physically maybe. Um, you may realize it, but you might not realize it as well. So th this is a reminder that you are quite the healer and you can trust that this is happening in your life. You're actually being of service to someone in a, in a powerful way. If you are in need of healing yourself on, in any way, you can concentrate on this energy of healing and it will flow through to you this week. It may be important to make a decision at this time. If you are feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and then make a decision. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart and then make a decision. It's time to play. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. So to lift yourself out of a slump, to lift yourself up during the day, do something that you love, say something that makes you laugh, create joy in some way in your life. And maybe take time to play, do something that you want to do rather than what you have to do. And then you'll start to see that it creates blessings in your life. It creates miracles and the manifestations that are beautiful. So we have another healing energy here. So we have father healing. This might be with your own father or a father figure in your life. Your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. This might also relate to your father or grandfather, a fathering influence in your life. Um, they may be healing as well. OK, so there could be some healing energy that maybe you can send to them with your healing heart energy, perhaps. But see how that resonates for you. Guidance for Capricorn, please, spirit. Sing your own song. This is about being authentic to your own heart. Do not be afraid to speak out. You know, the, the bird symbol is about communication. Do not be afraid to sing, to say something, to talk about what you're really feeling. Being real and raw in a situation to do with communication is important this week. To be authentic, to sing your own song. Time for beginner mind. So you're going to be starting something new shortly and your mind's going to be engaged with it because it is, it's the, it's, it's new, it's undiscovered and there's an element of intrigue here. Hmm. Might be learning a new interest or something in the workplace or learning about someone new, new relationship perhaps, but your mind is definitely engaged. Yes, spirit has a plan, the koala spirits. Yes, God has a plan for you. Absolutely. Spirit has a plan in this situation that might seem confusing to you. We have another dolphin energy. This and that are true. You can trust your intuition. You can trust your gut instincts. You can trust your own heart with this. There might be some truth that someone else is saying something. There might be some truth to that as well. But remain seated in your own authenticity. Guidance for Capricorn, please, spirit. Guidance for Capricorn. 
Okay, so you have the dreamer energy, which is the full. There is a new start, so trust yourself. And that goes back to the one of the first cards here about trust. It might be about trusting yourself more. And push your fears aside because you have this amazing, amazing, courageous energy. So push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. How does that resonate in your life at the moment, Capricorn? Pushing your fears aside and taking a leap of faith. There's financial security for yourself and your family. There might be an inheritance or a retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions. So we have a family element again coming in here or pride in the family tree and passing on knowledge. OK, so there could be a teacher energy here, a teacher, the magician. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest if you believe you can do it. So it's about having that courage. It's about having that understanding, knowing that you're going to be able to manifest your highest path and magic is working in your life. So synchronicities will happen this week. It's important at the moment to plan for the long term. Abundance will come from past choices. Pride in the success of your labors. Make sure that you take time to celebrate and be patient as you decide what's next. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. So again, we have that message. Your ships are coming in. Your ships are coming in. Your past actions and what you have done is going to be quite fruitful for you. Hard work that leads to a luxurious life, being contented, uh, buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed perhaps, and enjoying solitude or enjoying your solitude this week. You are going to have victory, wise choices that bring uh, bring public recognition and success. So that's interesting. People are going to know about your success and then may even be affecting them in a positive way. There could be promotions, awards or scholarships. Beautiful. Let's take a look now at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. The answer is no. So check in with your heart, with your intuition and see if this resonates for you or not. You can trust that. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.